In this video, we're going to talk about color grading for video footage, and I am going to be using a software application called DaVinci Resolve, which you can get absolutely free. It's from a company called Blackmagic, and I will put a link to that in the show description. And I've also done several tutorials on DaVinci Resolve, so if you kind of want a more general overview and learning how to use the software, I will link those in the show description as well. But in this video, I want to talk about using LUTs. And what is a LUT? Well, a LUT, it's basically an acronym that stands for lookup table, and so sometimes you hear these referred to as LUTs or computer, sorry, color lookup tables. And essentially this is a data file that you bring into the software application that you're using. You can apply it to your footage and it will typically and traditionally these emulate the looks of different film stocks. And it comes from the days where we shot on film and actually outputted back out to film, but we're able to edit digitally and have the color consistency accurate during that process. And also different film stocks have different looks to them. And so that's why LUTs were essentially developed. Today they have a much more creative and broad application than they used to, but it is important to understand that applying a LUT isn't exactly the same as doing a color grade. Color grading is a much more involved process where you're actually going to manipulate your footage even further, but LUTs are a wonderful place to start if you want a certain look to what you're doing. And so this is what we're going to talk about the application for these, and so that is important to understand. It's also important to understand that using a LUT is basically you have your source footage and you have a result, and the LUT helps you get there. And so sometimes on modern cameras uh, we shoot in what we call log profiles which allow us to capture a broader dynamic range but when you look at the raw footage it typically tends to be washed out looking and desaturated and so LUTs can help delog your footage and bring that into something that's usable for a color grade and so that's really important to understand with all that um, anyway so I think the best thing to do now is go over to DaVinci Resolve and have a look okay there's obviously a lot of different kinds of LUT packages that you can find there's stuff you can download Load for free. I've noticed that that's very limiting. Um, the, the ones that I like to use the most come from a company called Color Grading Central. And these are LUTs designed by a gentleman named Denver Riddle. And Impulse is the 35 millimeter negative stock library of LUTs that they sell. And there's different flavors of this. There's a basic version and then there's a professional and ultimate depending on what your needs are. And these are outstanding and I want to show you kind of how they work. And so if I come back over to uh, DaVinci Resolve here, there's some footage of these birds that live in my backyard, these hawks that hang out. And so let's go ahead and reset this real quick. And I want to show you kind of how I apply the LUT. And again, remember, LUTs are not exactly grading because they're going to be dependent on your exposure, white balance, how you have your image set up. And this image actually has some issues with it in the footage. And so I'll show you what those are. But anyway, to apply the LUT, all I do is I right click on the node and I'm going to go down to 3D LUT. And then I, here's all my LUT packages that I've got in here. I'm going to go down to this Sony S log 2 and these are the um, impulse LUTs and you can see that there's a variety of film stocks in here everything from Fuji to Kodak different versions different speeds that have been emulated now each version has four different flavors that you can choose from in here so for instance if I go up under Kodak Ektar and they're all the same in the file naming convention this is CIN FC FPE and VS you see at the end of these names these are for different uh, applications that you might be working within. So for instance, uh, CIN is for the Cineon workflow. FC is, stands for film contrast. This is the one we're probably gonna use the most if you're just making videos to share online or whatever. FPE is if you're gonna go back out to print stock, uh, Kodak, and then VS is vision space. So what I would do on any of these is just select your LUT, and I would use the FC version if you've got the impulse LUT. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And you can see that it corrected the contrast a little bit, corrected the saturation. There are some problems with this image, mainly my white balance is off. So what I'm going to do is go into my gamma and I'm going to bring that offset out and warm that up a little bit. That's a little too much. And my exposure is okay. This is a challenging image because it's somewhat backlit and that hawk and the branch are kind of in the shadows there. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and blow my sky out because it's just kind of inevitable with this and bring that up a little bit. And then we can start to warm up, um, bring in maybe some mid-tone detail and darken my shadows to give a little bit of contrast there. And we basically have it. And that's what a LUT does. So I did two things here. I applied the LUT and then I made some adjustments. And I, I use this particular example with this footage 
footage because I want to show you that just throwing a LUT on is not exactly working like an Instagram filter. Now at this point, um, I can go in and I can change the LUT if I want to try something else. So let's go back to my S-Log2 folder because that's how I shot this. And let's swap that out for maybe Kodak Vision 3. And you're going to see that it brought in a little more purple tones in there and has a slightly different look to it. But again, a very nice film emulation. So once you have this set up, um, you, can, you can make corrections very easily with it. Now at this point, I would begin to grade my footage. And it's really important to understand that there is a difference between applying a LUT and doing a grade. Now... With LUTs, pretty much what you're going to be dealing with is color, gamma, and contrast information. And if I want to save this out, let's say I just built this from scratch, I would go in here and I would actually right click on the thumbnail and you can go in and you can say generate 3D LUT cube or Panasonic VLUT, whichever you're working with, and it will save that LUT out. And then I could use that in other software. I could use it in camera if it supports it. Um, there's a variety of applications. Now, where it starts to get weird is if you start implying, applying vignettes or lighting effects or things like that. Those don't save well to a LUT. It's really not designed to do that. So if you want to do that, we call this power grades. And if I go click on the gallery tab at the top, you can see I have some power grades set up for some of the artist series stuff that I was working on. And those are much different. That's like a LUT and then an actual grade applied to the LUT. And so I'll cover that in a different video, but I just wanted to talk a little bit about LUTs today. Now, LUTs can do things other than emulate film stock, and that's certainly okay too. And you see a lot of creative uses for these now. In fact, I have a lot of LUTs that I've built up in my library that do things like emulate lomography effects and things like that if you want. But a lot of this, because this becomes color grading at this point, well, what's a color grade? And that's going to depend on what the footage is around it, what kind of a feel you want to it, and that's where you're really going to get into doing serious color work. But I wanted to at least cover LUTs and what you can do with some basic film stock emulation and other things as well. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to like it, share it with your friends. And as always, subscribe to The Art of Photography. I'll have the hawk fly off here. So you'll be always up to date on all the latest and greatest videos we do here. Until the next video, I'll see you guys then. Later.